all right yeah you're welcome back to my channel i still remain jack sax the saxophone instructor and tutor here in this channel to take us further in our trainings i have come up with a topic chromaticism all right yeah it sounds strange yes i know it must sound strange but we're going to be dealing with a topic tagged chromaticism now and um on this particular topic I'm going to teach you the single approach and the multiple approach you see i'm not just going to teach you all this i will at the same time teach you the practical application of chromaticism all right yeah and um if you have not subscribed to this channel i had like to plead with you to make sure you press the subscribe button and just beside it you will see a bell notification turn on the bell notification as that will enable you to be notified anytime a tutorial drops here in this channel i want to bring to your notice that you can take one-on-one -on -one intensive saxophone training classes with me all you need to do is just to send a dm or call the number right there on the screen now we'll personally attend to you now just like i said i'm going to be teaching you chromaticism all right <laughs> it sounds strange i know it sounds strange all right taking you from the single approach of your chromaticism um first you know playing saxophone is a journey right your tonic so far is a journey right you move from one note to the other now for instance you want to move from your key of b to your a or you want to move from a to g or you want to move from G to F, from F to E, E to D, D to C, all of that. There are some certain things you should be doing along the line, right? That will, that will be garnishing those notes. Is that okay? Now, um, just like I, I was saying, on your single approach, I said, for instance, you want to move from your B to your A now. Now, there is a note between your B and your A. And that note is what? B flat. Are you following what I'm saying? Now, and for you again to move from your A to your G, right? Now, there is a note between your A and your G. And that key is what? G sharp. Right? Now, that's not all. Now, taking a look at it on tonic sulfur wise now. If I want to move from okay now this is going to be serving as my t on the key of c if i want to move from t to my la now what am i going to do i'm going to play t tola t tola are you getting what i'm saying t tola right now la to so now i'm going to play what la si so right now so to fa now what am I gonna play? I'll play so fi fa, right? Fa to me now, fa to me now. You see, there is nothing in between. So I will move it a half step ahead of my fa. Then I'm gonna play fi fa mi, mi to re now. I'm gonna play mi mo re. All right. Now from re to do, I'll play what re di do. So now it's gonna be sounding as um. now before i teach you the multiple approach let's just practically um apply this into a song and see how it's going to sound now i'm going to practically apply this single approach of your chromaticism on a song what a mighty god we serve all right before we talk about the multiple approach now the tonics of our for the what a mighty god we serve is what so 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 mi do la so now, I want you to be taking note of most of the places we're going to apply the chromaticism, right? You have, you have a movement from la to so, all right? So, there is a space for chromaticism there. So, I'm going to do so, 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 mi, do, la, si, so, right? Now, so, 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 mi, do, mi, re, you see? 
there is a movement me to ray so and i can play what me more all right now so 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 far me do so 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 far me do now that far me i can play so 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 far me do so 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 far me do so 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 far me re di do re di do you understand not re do again because of the point of view of our application of what single chromaticism all right now let me just play the song ordinarily without the application of um um chromaticism before i will now apply it all right <laughs> And now I'm going to apply the single chromaticism on this particular what a mighty God we serve. <laughs> just how it is all right now and at the same time let me just think of um applying it on amazing grace again <laughs> simple as that all right so that is how um i i would like you to apply single chromaticism on every other song or any other music piece of your choice is that okay and now straight i'm going to take you through the multiple approach to chromaticism all right same way if you are moving from your t to your la now what are you going to do now, before you land on your la, which happen to be your approach note, there are certain things you should do. And now, this is what makes this one to be referred to as multiple approach toward chromaticism. Now, for me to move from my T to la, look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to first move two half steps ahead of this particular T. That is two semitones ahead of this. So, that's going to give me what? T do D. Are you get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have it as T do D. Do and D are the two semitones steps ahead of my T. Right? Then and I will now gradually return back chromatically until I get to my la. Are you get what I'm saying? That's just from that point of D. Where I landed before, when I started from my T, I will now return from that D, Do, T, to La. So I will move chromatically four half steps till I get to my La. After which I might have reached the D, the two half steps ahead of my T. So now that's going to be sounding as T, Do, T, Do, T. Are you get what I'm saying? So it's gonna be sounding like Are you getting that point? Now if I want to move from La to So, what am I gonna play? The same process. So that's gonna give me what? La to ti to la lu so is that okay? 
Right? Now, for me to move from my sol to fa now, what am I going to play? I'm going to play so, si, la, si, so, fi, fa. You understand? Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, for me to move from my fa to me, I'm going to play what? Fa, fi, so, fi, fa, mi. Is that okay? Now, for me to move from my mi to re, I'm going to play what? Mi, fa, fi, fa, mi, mo, re. Is that okay? Now, and for me to play re to do, I'm going to play what? Re, li, mi, mo, re, di, do. Is that okay? And now, for me to play do to t, I'm going to play do di re di do t. Okay. Now, the whole series of your multiple chromaticism goes in this way. Okay, now very simple. We are going to apply it into song again. We are going straight into application now. Now, remember what I said. If you are moving from your T to La, what you are going to play is going to be what? T do di do di to La. T do di do ti to La. Right now, from La to your song, you are going to play what? La to ti to La lu song. Or La to ti to La zi. Your Z is the same thing as Lu. La toti to la zi so, right? Now, so to fa now, you're going to play what? So zi la zi so fi fa. Remember this. Right? Now, fa to me, you're going to play what? Fa fi so fi fa mi. Are you getting it? Now, me to re, you're going to play what? Me fa fi fa mi mo re. All right? Now, to play from re to do, you're going to play what? Re re mi mo re di do. Are you getting that? Now, and to move from your do to t, you are going to play what? Do, di, re, di, do, t. It's as simple as that. Now, see how I'm going to apply this into a song. Same amazing grace now. I'm sure you can still remember the way I applied the single um, chromaticism. And now I want to apply the multiple chromaticism. Here has going to sound. <laughs> See that? Ready, be ready, do. Now look at what happened there. So do mi do mi re re mi mo re di do la to ti to la lu so. That was what I played. Chromaticism, re di do. It's as simple as that. Now, and of course, if you want to do it on what a mighty God we serve again, like uh then can you get that? Viva viva memory. Then. Sometimes you should consider using your chromaticism in place of other grace notes. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, you can drop it on the comment box. Remember to enroll for one on one intensive saxophone training course, send a DM or call the number right on the description box. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, 
make sure you do and turn on the bell notifications thank you see you in our next tutorial class